The death of the traditional ruler of our kingdom was first made public via the internet a few days ago. And since then, the entire city has been in a state of mourning. Here at the palace, some of the chiefs and people of Owo gather to mourn the departed monarch. As part of the tradition of the town, this tree inside the palace is trimmed to indicate the passing of the king. While the market located beside the palace is closed and traders temporarily relocate to this place to continue their business pending the installation of another monarch. A prominent indigen of Owo, Jamu Akumba, speaks to Channel's television on the achievement of the king and preparations for his funeral rites. For instance, in the next 17 days, there can be burial ceremony, ceremonial burial ceremony in Owo. There can be beating of drum in Owo. Um, then, like I said, there will be only one market, and that's Owata. Like Chief Ekumba, the Ojumu of our kingdom, chief on Lariwaju Famakinwa, expresses shock at the death of the Olawo of Owo, whom it describes as a great achiever and statesman. His great achievements are many. Uh, you can see every development in Owo and the uh, environs. And uh, he has uh, helped a lot of people. Outside the palace, some indigents of the town who spoke to Channel's television say Owo has lost a great leader who will be greatly missed. Very good Oba to us. He's a very good king to us, you know. Whenever you reach our palace, whenever you see that man, the man will just assist you. It's automatic. So we, 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 we just lost something. We all lost something in our local government. David Olateru Olagbegi was born on June the 26th, 1941. He succeeded his father as the Olowo of Owo in 1999, but was given the staff of office in 2003 by former governor of Ondo State, Dr. Olushegun Agagu.